In our morning rounds, genetic testing under the microscope, DNA analysis, is supposed to assess your risk for cancer, heart conditions, Alzheimer's disease, and other problems. But a major new report published in the New England Journal of Medicine finds the results can be dramatically flawed. Our Dr. David Agus leads the Westside Cancer Center at the University of Southern California and joins us this morning. Hello, Dr. Agus. Good morning, Gail. So what's the concern this morning about genetic testing? Well, genetic testing is using advances in technology over the last several years for it relatively inexpensively to look at your DNA and say your risk for disease and also to look at your DNA and potentially treat diseases like cancer and psychiatric disorders. And what this report says is that even if doctors are given the same information about testing, they say different things with the information. So some doctors or companies may say it's higher risk and some lower risk with the same genetic defect. And at the same time, there's no federal oversight. It also said that their companies are testing for lots of DNA conditions or variants, many of which aren't validated. So if uh, there are about 10 that are validated, for example, for breast cancer risk, and many of them test for 100. Are there some specific examples where they've gotten it wrong? Well, I can tell you two that are personal. So the first is a family member who, in my family, was tested for Alzheimer's and came up at higher risk. Well, she was tested at a university. About two years later, she went back as part of the study, and they found she had a particular variant that actually protected her. Mm -hmm. So for two years, she was so stressed about it, and then she was saying, listen, you're normal risk. I had a patient with metastatic lung cancer, a 50-year-old, and when he first presented, we looked at his DNA of his cancer and said, there's no gene here to targets. So we have to give you straight chemotherapy. Well, the test was done at the hospital he came from. I sent it to another lab, and it came back positive for a target. Mm -hmm. And he's still on this molecularly targeted drug a year later, responding and working every day. Uh, David, you recommend people who can afford it to have their genome uh, mapped? I, I think that this is something that we all should be and will be doing. What I think has to happen right now, though, is federal oversight. It has to be quality. It's better to do no test than the wrong test. And right now, it's very hard to know what the right test is. So if your doctor says, let's get a genetic test, I want you to ask, where is it being done? And is it the best place to have the test done? Well, that's yeah. really important information. And scary information to get two different results going to the doctor when you're sick. You really want somebody to steer you the right way. This is more confusing to me. Yeah, get a second opinion. Do the test more than once, yeah. Thank you. Always good to see you, Dr. David Agus. Great to see you guys. Yeah.